Hello, my name is Nalane Enders, and today I'm going to help you with your um, EDF 210 um, article review research assignment. Um, so a few things I want to remind you about as we look at our library webpage. Um, this assignment must be written in APA style. Um, your articles that you use need to be within the past 10 years. Um, they also need to be peer reviewed. Um, and they need to be about best practices. Um, you're going to do a detailed summary and um, you want to use um, at least one article, um, but you definitely can use at least three um, to get a really high score. And you want to use quotes and explanations as you work on writing your summary. You want to be sure that you apply the articles, so keep that in mind as you review articles to see um, what would work best for you. And remember that you're writing in a formal style. You should not use the words I or you unless they're within a direct quote. So let's get started setting up a search to um, complete this assignment, and we're going to use the example of classroom management. We are going to go to research on our library webpage. We'll click on databases at the top because we only want articles. We don't want to concern ourselves with any book resources at this time. We're going to start by clicking on academic search complete. And then to save time, what we are going to do is set up a multi database search. So if we go up to the top, we can click on Choose Databases. And these will be in alphabetical order. So we will um, select Education Source, ERIC, which is a government education database. Um, if you go over to the second column, we want Professional Development Collection, which is um, a PD database for teachers. And we want to also click on Teacher Reference Center. Once those have all been checked, we're going to click on OK. And it will create that list up at the top. If you click on Show All, it will list out all of the databases that you are searching. So let's get started with our search. We're going to type in Classroom Management in the top box. And then we're concerned with best practices. So I'm going to start typing best practices. And as soon as I do, you will see that um, your thesaurus will pop up. And I would recommend that you use um, best practices or guidelines or evidence-based practice. And that's going to give you a whole lot of um, results in a lot of different formats. So then we'll click on search. And as you can see, we have quite a few results. We have about 3,000 of them. So um, what we're going to do now is narrow that down. So the first thing I want to do is look in the left hand column and I want to click on peer reviewed because we must have peer reviewed resources for this assignment. So now we're down to 1300, which is good. You also remember I said that our articles must be done within the last 10 years. So you can use the slide down here, but I find it's easier to type in the date. Um, and then just click somewhere on your page and it should update for you. So now we're down to about 610. If you scroll to the bottom of this left hand column, you're going to see databases and you'll see a list of all the databases that we are using. It will give you the count of articles from each individual database. So if you only wanted to look at the articles from Teacher Reference Center, for example, you can click on that box and you will just have those 26 articles to deal with. So that is one way to narrow down your topic. You can also narrow down by top by subject. So we're going to go up here to the word subject and click on this arrow. It will give us a list of subject areas and I'm going to click on show more. This allows me to click on multiple subject headings at the same time. So the ones that um, I'm going to click on today are going to be elementary education best practices, classroom environment, 
evidence-based education, classroom management research, evidence-based management, and United States, because I want to stay focused on U.S. educational systems. And then I'm going to click on Update. And now we have about 237 articles, which is much easier to handle. If you look at the first results, the best practices in school mental health, you will see that it's a send interlibrary loan request. That's mean, that means that we do not have it here on campus. However, you can click on the send ILL. It will fill in the information for you for the article. You must give me a month, day, and year, um, and that needs to be a minimum of 10 days from, to, from the day that you're requesting it. Um, usually your article will arrive within two, but do put 10 days so it stays in the system long enough for us to process it. As you scroll down where it says name, username, you will put your last name only with the first letter capitalized. So for me, it would be Enders with a capital E. At the very bottom, it will say barcode password. Your barcode password is the letters KC plus your ID number. And then you will submit using this button down at the bottom that says submit this request. Please do not use enter on your keyboard. It's a glitchy system and sometimes it will not send it on to us if you do not use the submit this request button. Once that is submitted, we process it as soon as possible, usually within the same day. And then as soon as the article arrives, we will email that to you. So you do not have to come into the library to retrieve that. If we look at the third article, Effective Classroom Management, this article is available from ERIC. And that means that we have to go out of the database in order to access this title. So we're going to click on this link. We're going to look to the right where it says download full text and we're going to download that article. And you can download that using your icon on the right and store that in your Google research folder in your Google Drive or on your desktop if that's your preference. What I do want to point out to you is if you read through this article, if you look at the very top, it will say DOI. And a DOI is a direct object identifier. Um, and that will allow you to create a citation just using this number. It works the same as the ISBN number does on a book. So this number is unique to this article. So if we highlight that number and copy it, and we open Zotero Bib, You can click on your, I'm going to delete this bibliography. You can enter, copy your um, DOI, click on site, and it will create your citation for you. Under bibliography, you want to be sure to change that to APA style. And then you will have the correct citation format. Usually, if you've used um, Zotero Bib, you've probably used the footnote feature. Um, in APA style, you do not have footnotes. But if you go to the end of your citation and click on those quotation marks, it will generate your in-text citation. So if you do a direct quote, you definitely need a page number. So you can put whatever the page of the article is and then copy that and paste that in. If you have started the sentence with um, enders stated, then you can omit your author in your in-text citation and it will take care of that for you. If we go back to our results list, we're going to look now at um, number 11, which will be on the next page. And this first article um, actually is a PDF in full text. 
So we can click on that link to download that article or to open it. In the right hand column, once the article loads, you will see up here at the top right, a Google Drive icon. This means you can add the article directly into your Google Drive folder. Click on the icon. Be sure you're logged into your email address. When it says OK, it is now in your Google Drive. Okay. Once it's in your drive, all you have to do is look for the folder labeled EBSCO, and that is where your article will be located. So once you have a result list, you may not have time to look through the entire list um, in, a, in one sitting. Um, so if you don't want to have to continually reset up your search, what you can do is um, go over here to the right to share, copy the permalink, paste it into an email to yourself or store it somewhere, and you can click on that link and it will pull up the search that you've already set up and you can continue to search through your articles. So that is it for um, doing your articles. I do want to mention on our library webpage, if you go to tutorials, and click on library guides, and click on education, there is a guide for EDF 210, which gives you a written step-by-step -step on how to set up your search for this project. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and good luck with your assignment. Have a great day.